Okay, here we go. Ultimate hottest woman tier list. Can I remix it or how do I reset? There we go. This, this is a lot of women. Jesus, this is a lot. All right. Hot, okay, maybe not interested, hell no. Let me smash and then, I don't know what this one is. What are these weird characters? This, this one I'm guessing is like what would this top top one get be like um sacrifice my dick for a crumb of her hair <laughs> or something was I'll smash her dirty and filthy all right Dirty and filthy. This is a great Christian stream. All right, um, Alice, can you see that? Wait, let me just do. All right, yeah. Fucking bitch. Okay, is Oprah in there? I don't know. Oh no, that's Whoopi Goldberg. I thought that was Oprah. I don't see Oprah on here. I don't want to spoil the list. Okay, let's uh, let's get to it. Alice Eve. She looks nice. She looks kind of pretty. I'd say hot. Morena. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, she's in um, she's in Gotham. She plays uh, the nurse there. And I believe she's also in something else. But I'm I know her mostly for Gotham. Uh, yeah, she's hot too. Very pretty. What's a snow? I still don't know what a snow bunny is. People keep saying that. Gabrielle Union. Interesting last name. Mm, she's okay. Sophie Turner. Filthy for Morena. <laughs> This is my tier list, but yeah, she's nice. Sophie Turner, eh, maybe. Okay. Sarah Jessica Parker. I've heard that name before in the past. Uh, she seems too old. Not for me, but just older than my taste. But she's, I bet she's a very wonderful woman. I have a fetish for redheads. Cool. Hope you're happy with that. Emily Blunt. Oh, she was in uh, Sicario. That movie. I still have no idea what that movie was about or like, what was even going on. Emily Blunt. Maybe she seems nice. Not sure I'm happy with that. Nice. Brenda Song. Oh, she was in um, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Uh, okay. Hell no? Why hell no? It's because she's Asian and you're secretly a racist? 
Emily Van Camp. I want to say I've seen this face before. I just can't tell where. Ah, uh, maybe. I'm from Asia, dude. That's racist. I'd give. <laughs> I'd give. I'd give her an egg roll. Okay. Okay. Actually, you know what? I find it kind of hard to argue with that fact. I'm talking about the Morena thing, not the egg roll thing. Jane Levy? She seems like she'd be the type to have a psychotic break if I, like, mentioned another woman. And, like, in any, like, relative, relatively positive manner. Maybe. Natalie Emanuel. Very interesting name. She seems... Yeah, she looks, she, she looks kind of hot. I'll admit that. Not interested? Why are you talking about Jane Levy, or... She gives off a kill your kill your girlfriend type of woman. Yeah, she just seems like psychotic. Linda Cardinelli. Cardo Cardellini. That sounds Italian. And given how I'm Italian, seems like a per perfect fit. Maybe. She's like, yeah, you know what? Actually, okay. Oh, Miranda Cosgrove, the Drake and Josh girl, and also iCarly. Uh, a high, maybe. She seems kind of plain, but also nice. Not interested. As a side? That's just rude, man. Kira Knightley. I thought this was um the woman who plays that woman in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Zzz. She looks like her. I say hot. Jessica. Which Jessica? Oh, this one. Jessica Chastain. I feel like I've seen her before. Um, she seems like a high class lady. One who wants to be like wined and dined. Oh, that is her. I thought that was a different woman. I, I was. I had a different woman's name in mind. Yeah, she, she seems like the type that wants to be wined and dined. You know, treated like a lady. I say okay. Oh, Ariana Grande, popular music artist, previously also on um, that Nickelodeon show, Victorious. Mm. She went through some like weird racial thing. Like, if you were to look at a transformation of her skin from when she was in Victorious to now, she got darker somehow. She became black or like just darker somehow uh it's she's on the low end of okay victoria dude you're way ahead of me wounded calm down dude keep just keep pace with the stream you don't have to like you don't have to like get ahead of me yeah I'll reverse michael jackson victoria justice also on that show she seems very nice. I'd say, yeah, I'm hot. I have a 15 second lag. Okay, well then, that doesn't mean you have to be 15 seconds ahead. I, I already go pretty slow. You can keep pace like that. Calm the fuck down. My pronouns are he he. <laughs> that, was, that was so dumb, but it made me laugh. 
Yeah, refresh wounded. Linda Carter. Seems like a sophisticated type. Older, sophisticated lady. And that right there is already... That's a huge bump in terms of attractiveness. So I would say like high end of okay. <laughs> Apparently wounded is becoming girth. Nice. Elizabeth Banks. Face seems familiar, just can't place it where. Eh, maybe. That's a girth classic right there, baby. Oh, Aubrey Plaza. Parks and Rec. Also seems like someone who'd be crazy. So I'll put it right next to the other crazy ladies. All the crazy ladies get their own special section. Okay, I'm just gonna not read that one. Heidi Klum. I mean, just from this picture. Mm, okay. Heidi's a hell no. Okay then, there you go. Miley Cyrus. <sighs> like, Miley Cyrus pre the mental breakdown she basically had and the wrecking ball stuff. Before all that, she would have been like here-ish. But she has a tattoo and all that nonsense. Yeah. Actually, nah. Because <laughs> at least not interested implies it can be interest probably evolved eventually. Yeah, no. Lauren Cohen. Oh, this is the lady in The Walking Dead. Oh, this is weird. I can't explain it, but I like her. I don't know why. Can't explain it. Not interested. All right, you're just smoking some new drugs. Jenna Fisher. Oh, is that the woman from the office? Is that um Jane? <laughs> the the office, the lady from the office. Yeah, she's okay. Pam, that's her name. Pam, yeah. Abigail Breslin. Her boobs are bigger than Brenda's songs. That's the only reason I put her up there. Oh, Christian Ritter. Played, um... She's in that one Marvel show. With the, the, the Defenders with Daredevil and Luke Cage. I think Jessica something? Christian's a no? Yeah, yours. You were high off like that some weird strain. At least okay. Okay. Maya Khalifa. She seems exotic. Mm. I got nothing else to say. Glasses. So she's slightly blind. Yeah, she seems nice. I'll put her... Like... Here. At least okay. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing a picture of Whoopi Goldberg. Like, I think... I don't know, like, fifth grade or something for, like, a poster of dyslexia. 
it wasn't like promoting dyslexia, but like about like dyslexia awareness. That was a one time only I've ever seen her. Fuck no, I can't. You can put her on your list. Cardi B. Nah. She seems like she'd be f funny in like certain instances, but nah. Also, her music music is terrible. Olivia Wilde. She was in a uh, house. I like just from this picture, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hayden Pan Panetary. That's an interesting name. A lot of these women have interesting last names. Uh, she seems nice. Sorry. Oh, yeah, she's yeah, she seems pretty. Vanessa Kirby. That's a nice last name. She seems mad in this picture or upset. Brittany Murphy. Maybe. I don't know why, but I see her as like... Almost as attractive as Vanessa Kirby, but... But not that much. Sophia Butella. Not interested? Okay, there you go. Sophia Boot Bautella. She seems she would also be kind of crazy. So she gets put in with the crazy lady group. Ruby Ophi. Ophi. People who are only called by like their three names, that's a certain like type of prize you have. You know, like Samuel L. Jackson. To be called by all three of your names. You must have done something noteworthy. Uh, her face looks kind of, looks like she has plastic surgery. And I'm not, I, I don't like plastic surgery. Rachel Taylor. Oh, she was in the uh, Transformers movie. I think the the one with um, the dude who went crazy, fucking Shia LaBeouf. Either the first one or the second one. Yeah, she seems she seems pretty. Almost crazy looking, but yeah, screw it. I need to f I need to fill in these top ones. I only have one woman up here. Yeah, the first movie. Okay. Eva Mendez. Yeah, she seems really pretty. Actually, no, I just need to. F I need to fill bodies in here. So, smash. Why not? Yeah. Okay. I'm got. I'm got someone else agrees. Vivica A. Fox. I feel like I've heard that name before. Right there. Not interested. Oh, what a surprise. Not interested in black women. Fucking racist. Oh, Rachel McAdams. She was in the Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes movie. And then she was killed off like immediately in the second movie.
Yeah, definitely. She has a nice like Joker smile going on. Cheek, cheek to cheek smile. Yeah, I like her. Filthy. Maggie Lawson. Never heard of her. Eh, maybe. Daisy Ridley. Oh, she played um the, the she's in the the newest Star Wars. Frey, I think her name is. <laughs> this picture <laughs> this probably isn't her best picture. She looks I wanna say like slightly manic. Like she's she like either like very angry, like she's about to hurt someone. I say maybe. Nev Campbell. Um. Nah. Uma Thurman. Oh, from Pulp Fiction, and Kill Bill. Her eyes are just so far apart. Why? Like, what do they do to my girl, Ermin? Or, or Ermin. Uma. I don't always said Irma. Or whatever I said originally. Yeah, they, they did my girl dirty with her eyes. Nope. Denise Richards. I feel like I've seen her face before. I think in a James Bond movie, the world is not enough. Oh yeah, she's hot. Very pretty. Katie Holmes. Oh, she was in, she's also in the uh, house. She played um, the, the main lady. Hot. Rich Rachel Nichols. Maybe. Jen Janina. <laughs> okay, why they have such strange last names? Christ, these women. They may be beautiful, but their names are impossible. Gavin Kara. I'm assuming that's what the, the name is. She looks fierce. Like she would destroy a man. Like she would break down a man to his like bare like being. She interests me very much. I'm curious. All cold gray. She was in the uh, she was in that Denzel movie, the Equalizer. I like that movie. Mm. I don't know why. I'm interested. Carrie Fisher. Oh, that's the lady who played, um, not Padme, but she, in, the, in the Star Wars film, she played, um, the lady. You know, you know the lady in Star Wars. I mean, this picture of Carrie Fisher. At least that much. I'll, I'll give at least that much. Audrey Hepburn, classic. I think I'm pretty sure she did movies with Humphrey Bogart. She wasn't in the Maltese Falcon because that's my favorite Bogart film. Oh, yeah, she's but she's one of those classy dames. Audrey, hell no! Yeah, you. Yeah, you're stupid. Shut up. Beyonce.
I mean, it's Beyonce, just, just on that alone. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Again, see, these people who are called by all three names. What, what have, what must you have done to be called by all three? Why not just like Jennifer Hewitt? I'm not talking, I'm typing, so I can't shut up. It's logically not possible. Either way, your opinion is terrible. Like how do you how do you get how do you get to be called all three names? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've seen her in that one movie in um not basic instinct, but that one movie, and I think she played Daphne in a Scooby Doo live action movie. I'll say at least okay. That's why it's my opinion. It could be terrible for you, but amazing for me. Not just terrible all around. Isabel Lucas. I think she was also in a Transformers movie. She seems hot. Rosario Dawson. Oh, she was in. She was in definitely Luke Cage. She played like she played like the general aide or like friend of the group. Oh yeah, smashing. I'm half AFK. Typing with one hand is hard. <laughs> the fact you're able to do it is impressive, man. Rosario not interested. Yeah, all your opinions now wounded are meaningless. Grace Jones. She was in that one Bond film. Had sex with Bond. Those cheekbones, though, goddamn. I'm liking those cheekbones. At least okay. Ella Blinska. The fuck kind of name? It's like that's like that's like Russian or. It's not like a Russian name. I mean, she seems mixed. Dude, half these women I want to go down and go down and filthy, except the crazies. I mean, likewise, it's just there's a lot to parse. She looks like she's mixed, like maybe black and Russian, black and Russian, black and Russian, black and Russian. At least okay. Selma Hayek. Oh yeah, she was in um, The Bodyguard, that recent movie, and um, Grown Ups. From this picture alone, at least hot. Gwyneth Paltrow. After seeing that thing she did with the she apparently did some like candle thing where you have such a weird taste in women. How's my taste in women weird? I think you're the one with the weird taste. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she, she did something with like a candle that was like, that was like, it smelled like vagina hair or something. So she's crazy, but not crazy enough like that's attractive. Because there's a point that, like, weird, attractive, crazy, like, crossbreed that women have. But she doesn't even have that. I have a kinky taste. Yeah, you're just weird. Milana Vantrub. What the fuck are these names? Milana Vantrub. She seems cute with like a little mix of crazy. But that last name just ruins it for me. Jesus. I'll put it in the crazy group, but on the high, on the high end. Actually, I think, man, I think I want to have sex with her. I don't know why. 
like a deep throat her and smack her tits. <laughs> okay, I refuse to share the same taste with you, fucking degenerate. Stefani Justin. That's a these the strangest names these women have. And she seems very nice. Right there. I'm an honest degenerate, a degenerate nonetheless. Tina Fey. Maybe young Tina Fey, but not older Tina Fey. Ursula Andrus. I've not seen her. She's probably in a Bond film. But just from this picture alone, very. Lisa Kudrow. She was in Friends. Yeah. She seemed like that weird type of woman. Not weird as in she's crazy, just weird as in eccentric. Which is its own, it's its own uh, attractive quality. God, you just disgust me. Carla Gugino. Fucking... Uh, maybe. Tony sh feeds a long piece of string down Dalda's left nostril, through his body, and out his penis. Re feeds it through his throat, through his body, out anus, and then pushes the leftover string down the right nostril. What would be the point of that? What would be the point of that, or like, what, what would that accomplish? Sup, Tony? Christina is filthy? No. Oh. I was wondering who the hell you're talking about. Hope you're having a great day today, Tony. I don't know. Christina, Ricky? Short hair is... I'm not a fan of short hair. What do any of my introdu introductions accomplish? By setting, like, by establishing a very, a very powerful presence in the stream. They at least accomplish that much. Lady Gaga. Uh, I can't tell if this is age or she has, like, Work done on her face, Botox, plastic surgery, whatever the hell. That's eh, just no. It's for science and not sex. What is this? Pokemon Bobber, voiceover? Where are you, Daddy? Where can he be? Maybe he's in here. I don't think we're gonna find him anymore. I'm just giving up. Oh, I can't hear because of the game audio. Look at me! I'm your father! <gasps> I don't know if it's just me, but I really want to suck boobs. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's just talking facts. I also want to suck boobs. <gasps> oh, okay, what the fuck is this voiceover work? <laughs> Dude, calm down. I'm not gonna kill you now. Look behind you! Over there! <laughs> He's just possessed. I just want boobs. Guys, what do you think about this view of my ass? Do you think I look attractive with this view of my booty? The only booty I want is from your mom. You don't say that about someone's mom, what the fuck? I am Jesse And I am Horny. Together, we unite the world and we're here to abduct you. And I only think about sex. She definitely wants me. Shut up, stupid cat! Who the fuck is a stupid cat? I will put your cap in your anus! <laughs> you can also put it in my anus. Okay, listen to me, lizard. Put your teeth in Pikachu's eyes. Wow. Pikachu, grab him by his tail! I'll kill you! Wow. Ash, please.
please hurry up. I want to kiss you so bad now. Oh, Misty, I'm not in love with you. Guys, we don't have time for this now. We have to run away now. Oh no, my Pokemon is still there. We don't have time for this. I have to save him. He's my Pokemon. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Do you please want to bite and Misty her legs? Um, yeah, sure, bro. Here we go. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like oh, why am I still gosh, watching this? Have sex with a lot of girls in a lot of rooms. We definitely should look for help for this beast because this is just not good. Oh, I'm almost by my Pokemon. What the fuck? Oh, Misty, please come down again. This doesn't make sense. Oh, guys, I'm sorry for waiting, but this Pokemon is just my whole life. I couldn't let him go. Now we're here together forever. Brock was again. a pedophile. Misty, I don't give yeah, a fuck about was. that. I'm gonna put all these balls in my ass. Okay, that was. Thank you for promoting your YouTube video. Donatello, that was amazing. I'm not sure what that even was, but okay. Yeah, that was a great last line from Brock. That's it. That, that seems like a video I would make when I was interested in voice acting for a while. When I was like in middle school. You didn't comment, don't you want a part two? I mean, uh, the part one was already great. I'm not one to uh, beg for more. Part one was already a classic. Clearly adult male simping over preteen Misty. I, I never got that message from Brock, but maybe he was. Hope you had, yeah, thanks for that awesome video, Donatello. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, wait, crap. Yeah, Tony, you can make a comment on that video. Yaya Da Costa. This entire name just... It... You know, maybe, but that name just... What what the hell even is that name? You would have made a good robot actor? Yeah, maybe I would have. If I pursued voice acting further instead of doing streaming, maybe I could have. Jennifer Lopez. I've heard this name associated a lot when people talk about attractive women. I just don't see it. Megan Fox from Rip right now, down in freaking dirty, filthy, and let me smash. I wouldn't want to interfere with the artist's work, Donatello. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is a CD RAM more like C? <laughs> okay. Katie McKinnon. She looks kind of crazy, so I'm going to put her in with the crazy woman group. J-Lo hit the wall. What do, you, do you mean like an actual wall or is that a metaphor? I mean, she just, I don't, I just don't see the attractiveness or just, it's just not my taste. Carrie Underwood. Nah. Kaylee Cuoco. She was in uh, that nerd ass show. Mm. Maybe. When women age out and aren't fuckable anymore, it's called hitting the wall. Oh, that's what it's called. That's an inter <laughs> that's an inter interesting term for it. But I don't. Know, maybe she did, but she, I, I just don't. Either she hit the wall, or she's just not attractive to me. If it moves, it's breedable. Dalda. I have never said those words. You cannot point to a single time I've said that. Oh, Margot Robbie. I saw her recently in that Tarantino film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think like a, a week ago. Yeah, she's really pretty, actually. Dalda will have, s Dalda will have sex with whatever that moves. No, no, I won't. That's just weird. Megan Fox, I don't know what happened to Megan Fox. She was beautiful in the 
Transformers movie, but then something happened, and uh, I don't know. Christ. Ruby Rose. Oh, she was in the uh, John Wick, the John Wick Two, I think. I don't really like short hair that much, but she seems nice. Megan Fox was never was never beautiful to me, and there goes Megan Fox's entire career. You happy, Ram? You just destroyed her entire career. Dude, you're fucked in the head for putting Megan Fox there. What, in the hell no category? She was at the wall since the womb. <laughs> since the womb. Jesus Christ, Rem. That's a bit... Damn, that's ruthless. Lesbians are the best to fuck. Oh, is Ruby Rose a lesbian? I mean, you wouldn't know that since she wouldn't fuck you. Given your dudeness, damn, I'm st I'm still thinking about that comment Rem just said. Jesus Christ, Winona Ryder. I don't know why they use this picture. This is now she looks crazy, or she looks like she's really tired. But I've heard that name before. Just can't recall where. I think she was in the. Matrix? I mean, just from this picture, she, it's not her best picture. They should have used the Beetlejuice picture of Winona. I can only imagine what that looks like. Felicity Jones. She looks like a mouse. <laughs> like, not to be like rude or anything, but she looks like if a mouse was turned into a human. Yeah, there's no Oprah, unfortunately. It sucks. But she's not ugly, so... Give her okay. She was in Stranger Things and Beetlejuice. I, I haven't seen either. I've heard of Beetlejuice. Never seen Stranger Things. Kate Winslet. I've heard that name before. She just seems a little bit older. Oprah would have her own tear. Oh, yeah, definitely. Catherine Hegel. Maybe. Kate was the tits in Titanic. Oh, she was in Titanic? I don't even remember that movie. I just know that the boat sank. And a bunch of people died. Oh, she played the woman, right? She played, like, the... The main woman. First tits I've ever seen on the server screen. Well, she's a legend in that regard, then. Taylor Swift. If if I don't factor in her music, just looks. Eh, maybe. Titanic deniers. I don't deny the Titanic ever happened. I'm just saying. You know, it's. She regrets that tit scene. Well, damn. She probably regrets it because it wasn't the biggest scene in there. James Cameron has his own archive of Kate Winslet boobies. I wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't put it past him. Taylor can get behind a 7-Eleven on Christmas morning. Oh, she can get it behind a 7-Eleven. Okay, cool. Caroline Monroe. Looks like a James Bond gal. She kind of looks like... She kind of reminds me of uh, Megan Fox. So I'll put her right there. Actually... Felicity, right there. Take pain list out, she's too young, you damn pedo. Who? This one? 
Well, I, I mean, I can't take her out. She's in the list, but I just won't include her. Wait, how how old is she? Is the maker of this list a pedophile? Peyton List. She's 25 years old, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Don't fucking scare me like that. Jane Seymour. It's a funny last name. Which means she's probably funny. Okay. She already hit the wall, don't worry. At 25, you don't... That doesn't happen. I'd imagine she would take care of herself. Ellen DeGen... Ashley Tisdale. She was also in the school life as Zach and Cody. I probably thought she was pretty back then, but... This picture does not do her justice. Also, I think she was in that movie, The Swan, or The Black Swan. I forget, but maybe this, this picture doesn't do her justice. Write Emma Watson as Hermione Granger. Okay. Not even a booty call for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, Emma Watson. She's right here. Um... That's from mine. Uh, either way, that she's kind of hot. Emma Watson is a hell no. She'll, she'll feminize you to death. How? What does that even mean? What the fuck is his name? Aquafina. Your name is stupid as fuck. I don't like you. <laughs> like I'll, t I'll, I'll take you. I'll take some nonsense with the with the with this women list and their names. It'll make her turn gay. I'll make. <laughs> I read that word. I'll make her turn gay. <laughs> nice one. She's a feminist and an annoying one at that. I liked her in the live-action View and the Beast. I mean, just from looks, she seems nice. So, uh, I give her that. If she's a feminist, man, that's, what she, that's what she does. Good on you, Rem, for turning Emma Watson gay. Okay, here we go, paint list. Now, she seems beautiful and luckily of age, wounded. Thank you for scaring me into checking that fact. Yeah, smash. Why not? I turned an, an ex-gay once. Showed her what a tongue could do. Feels bad, man. Damn. That must be very demotivating for a man. To, to find that you're the last man she would ever date. She, she turned gay. Damn. I mean, luckily, I, I imagine you recovered from that fact. Oh, she was in a... This is a lady in Parks and Rec. Amy Poehler. I don't know, for some reason... Maybe. I don't know why. I liked her in Parks and Rec. Dua Lipa. Oh, she's that musical artist I keep seeing. She, I saw there, there's a song of her promoted on on the YouTube front page when I was, you know, watching videos. But given how she's a pop artist, her music probably sucks. Her face kind of weirds me out. I don't know. I'll do her lips. 
She probably has fake lips. Yeah. Naomi Scott. Smash. And I will not be explaining myself. She looks trans? Who? Naomi or Dua Lipa? Yeah, probably Dua Lipa you meant. I, I see it now. Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Cameron Diaz. Amber Heard. How do you get... How do you put three horrible women back to back to back? Kim Kardashian, Cameron Diaz, and Amber Heard. You put three women, just just put them in the bottom tier already. Yeah, she was hot. I remember her in that one movie with that goofy looking dude. Forget his name. No, but she is definitely way older. Oh, Jeanette McCurdy. She was also in um, iCarly. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. I can't explain it. iCarly's buddy can get it. That's a nice descriptor. Something about Mary? Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, wait, that's the woman. Wasn't she in that movie Knives Out? She's older than I think. Yeah, yeah, her. I mean, this picture of Jamie Lee Curtis is at least like a maybe, but now... She's just too old. I have an age limit, man. Farrah Fawcett. I've heard that name before. She's probably like in... She was probably in like Cheers or something or... Happy Days or something. One of those older shows. Yeah, nah. Natalie Wood. Yeah, dude. Natalie Wood. You know, she can... She, you know, get the wood, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. I just did that for the joke. Um, she's okay. Gal Gadot. I will not be explaining myself. All I need is seven seconds. All I need is five seconds, buddy. Nope, Jesus. Carrie Russell. Her face looks so small. Is it just me? Why is it? Her face looks like it takes up only like... Like 30% of her head. Why is her face so small? <laughs> I can't... Uh Why is your face so small? I don't... <laughs> I can't get over that fact. Blake Lively. This... I'm pretty sure she was in the... The Underworld movies, or that's someone else? Oh no, she's married to uh, Ryan... Uh, the, the, the funny Ryan. Not the... The funny Ryan. Gosling, I think? Okay. Elizabeth Taylor. An older lady by the looks of it, given the photo. This particular instance of Elizabeth Taylor, for some reason, she looks hot. It's just something about these older dames that just gets me. Cindy Crawford. I've heard that name before.
at least okay. She's at least okay. Excuse me. Anna Kendrick, seen her before. It's not that she's unattractive, her face just... It leaves me wanting. Yeah. Brie Larson. Uh, Christ. Halle Berry. My God, Halle Berry. Dude, not, not even in Catwoman, but... Or Catwoman. You know, the multiple Catwoman. Dude, Halle Berry has Storm... Halle Berry in that James Bond film. Fuck, I would break my dick off inside Halle Berry. I don't give a fuck, man. Damn. You'd pass? Uh, Ram, you're meaningless to me now. Your opinion means nothing. Maybe not, maybe not current Halle Berry, but my God. In her prime, man. Damn. Halle Berry's boobies were nice on Swordfish too. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, it's a pattern. Angelina Jolie. She's a bit too old. In all regards. Yeah, prime time definitely. Wait, let me actually look up some photos. Now she has short hair now. Why? I'm seeing pictures of Drake too. I don't know why Drake is involved in this. Oh, thanks for the follow, Donatello. I didn't see that. Let me move my stuff over here. Angelina Jolie is tainted because Billy Bob Thorne coomed in her every hole. I mean, Billy Bob Thorne is, by the way, an ad, an ad is about to play in 30 seconds. Billy Bob Thorne is cool. Selena Gomez, she was in that Disney Channel show. You know, I like her. I like her. Jan <laughs> January Jones. <laughs> her fucking name is a month. <laughs> I have truly seen some weird names for these women. Her fucking name is a month? How unoriginal were her parents? I've heard of black women named like gorgeous and precious. It's a fucking month? Man. I still smash though, but Jesus Christ, her name. Also, her name follows the same name convention as Stanley does with Marvel characters. He, Stanley loves alliteration. It, his characters always, always have the same first and last name, the like the starting letter, like Matt Murdock. That that sounds like a name Stanley would use as a female character. Parents giving their children stripper names. Yeah, that's that that is kind of like a stripper name. Claudine Auger. That's an interesting name. She has kind of a baby face. Like a fa her like her face hasn't aged with her body. So at least at least low on the maybe chart. Sandra Bullock actress legend she kind of has a Michael Jackson thing going on I 
I mean, I, I don't want to have sex with Michael Jackson, so... Drew Barrymore. I've heard that name before. Queen Latifah. Nah. Christian Stewart. Yeah, great actor though. Dude, I, I was so confused during that during that one segment in Oceans, I think twelve. Sandra Bullock was in an Oceans movie, you know, the the, the heist movie. And the, the heist plan was that, I forgot her name, <laughs> Sandra Bullock was in that movie and she, she would play, to pr she would pretend to be Sandra Bullock in the heist plan. That was just so damn confusing. I can't tell if that was genius or just lazy. Drew Barrymore was hot before she turned into a crazy cat lady. Oh, Jesus. I mean, also, yeah, I don't know like the history of all these women these actresses and whatnot. I'm just going off their pictures right now. And like what I slightly know of the few that I do know. Christian Stewart, she was in the Twilight series. She showed like no emotion. I saw, I've, I've seen a few clips of the Twilight movies. She might as well be wearing like, a, just like her face, like just like masked over. She had no emotion. I have more emotions than Christian Stewart. And this, this picture, she looks like she's on crack. So I'm putting not interested. Kristen Bell swallows. Who's oh this woman? I mean, maybe she swallows. I don't know. Uh, maybe, but. At least above the crazy women. Alicia Silverstone. Uh, at least not, not interested, but something about her. Isabel Furman. I don't know. Rihanna. Man, Rihanna in her prime, at least in the music sense, at least an okay. I'll, at least give her, I'll still give her an okay. Why not? Zendaya, she's. She was also in that one Disney Channel show in the. These recent Spider-Man movies. You love to slap her around a little. I don't want to slap Rihanna. <laughs> okay, that's only one man, one man's job. Uh, Zendaya. Maybe. Amanda Seyfried. Christy's names. She was in that one show. I think it was like a high school drama type of thing. What was it? It wasn't Euphoria. But like some other one. She looks like she would manipulate you to like the extent of like Machiavelli himself. She would like psychologically screw with you beyond like repair. Yeah, screw it. The Tita Wright. Oh, she was in the she played Black Panther in the newest movie. I just don't like short hair. Just can't do it.
muted. What the fuck? Yeah, like, Corny Cox, she had that sh that long, short hair. Where, like, it would touch her shoulders. I'll allow for at least that much for short hair. And when, when, she, when she was on Friends and Ace Ventura, she was amazing. So I'll at least give her the maybe. I'll give her, like, legacy points. <laughs> Power fap. I'll give her, like, legacy points, because she was... She was hot before she got all the plastic. Why do these women get plastic surgery? God damn, it makes you look ugly. Embrace your age. Actually, she's got plastic surgery, so that's lower now. Why do they keep getting plastic surgery, man? Katy Perry. Hot, but like Katy Perry, I would not like wine and diner. It's like a like do it for the fun, and then that's it. She doesn't. She does not seem one you would like wine and dine. You feel me? Catherine when it when it something. I can't explain myself with that one. Oh, Ava Green. Dude, in that one James Bond film where she played um the person who like who, who held the money. Dude, in that one James Bond film, my god. I can't tell if this is the face of someone who's had plastic surgery or someone who's not had it. But again, I'll, I'll account for legacy. I loved her in that James Bond film. Jada Pinkett Smith. Ah, <laughs> oh, legacy has not been kind to you. Rachel Wizzes? Wises? She looks like she'd be a mom. Like the neighborhood mom. Maybe. Yeah, I don't need to explain myself with that one. Jennifer Lawrence. I'll put her below the crazy women in this category. Hard pass. I mean, I'm finding a reason to actually say yes myself. I don't know. I don't know why, but like, I, I like. I feel like I have to be nice to these women, even though these are just pictures I'm talking about. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I've. I, there's no reason. I can't find a reason really. Maggie. Oh, Gyllenhaal? Oh, is this... Is this uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's wife or something? Oh, no, his sibling. His sister. Okay, I didn't know... I, I didn't know Jake Gyllenhaal or... Yeah, Gyllenhaal had a sister. She was in The Dark Knight? I do not remember in the Dark Knight, but I do recognize his last name because it's so specific. I'm gonna say hot just so I can get close to Jake Gyllenhaal because I love his I love his movies. Reese Witherspoon. She was in that one film. I can't remember which one. But it was like a movie about a guy who like. Oh, she was Rachel? Oh. Wait, where'd I put her? Uh, 
She was Rachel. Okay, now I see it. L oh, yeah, Legally Blonde. I think that was the movie. Yeah, she was in that movie. Okay, oh, yeah, she's still in the hot category. Rachel! Where's Rachel? <laughs> Rachel. Check one. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, dude, this this cable is very loose. Yeah, I'm back now. Thanks for the one bit face of her. Where's Rachel? Where is the trigger? All right, I'm back. But yeah, yeah, she was in Legally Blonde, that one movie about a dude who like slept around with a bunch of women, and then like if he was able to like sleep with one specific woman i think reese's character he would be able to like sleep with his stepsister or something yeah she seems hot we can hear you now that's great i can tell because the audio is going on my thing thank you for the one bit face stuffer christian wig I'm just not interested. Sorry. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> Mindy Kellig. Oh, she was in the office. She seems old. Jesus. Either old or fat. I don't know which one. Really not interested. Jennifer Garner. Spicy girl. <laughs> okay, good one. Jennifer Garner. Really nice face when she smiles. Probably a bit older. Eh. Maybe. Alexandra Dodaro. Oh, I've, I've heard of her before. She was in that Freddy movie and that one beach movie. And then maybe something else. Smash. Billy. Oh, Billy. Uh, eyelash. I have not heard of her since, like, that bad guy song. When was that song even like? It was like 2019 or something? Uh, she looks like she would be rife. Wait, is that the word? Rife? Yeah. With mental illness. Like, being so young and that popular, it, it has to kill your mental so hard. But despite any m mental illness she may have, yeah, yeah, she's kind of hot. A relish on the glizzy, sure. I don't even like relish. Who, who likes relish as a condiment? I've never seen anyone go for relish when, like, they have a hot dog or a burger. That seems like a condiment only for serial killers and psychopaths.
Isla Fisher. Is if you want to get freaky? Yeah, that's truly a freaky condiment. Just, I don't know who would go for that. She looks like she would be always mad at me for something. Like, even this picture, she's not even smiling. And an angry woman leads to an angry life. If you want an experimental dog, when it comes to me, I want my hot dog the way I want it. I don't want to experiment with it. Yeah, she looks like she would always be mad at me. An angry woman, as I say, angry wife. Or is it happy wife, happy life? Angry wife, angry life. Ronda Rousey. Oh, she's that um, fighter woman. She's a popular woman fighter. <laughs> she beats up women professionally. Um, even with that, I'd knock her up, JK. I know she would beat your ass literally down before you were able to do that. Mm. Nah. I mean, the. Yeah. I don't care if, like, she was able to beat me up. I'm just. I just don't find her attractive. Oh, Hillary Duff. That's a name I haven't heard of in a long time. You know, she still seems nice for her age. How old is he? She. I said he. Thirty-six. Yeah, I mean, for me, she still seems really pretty. I give that up. In the middle somewhere. She's a bro. Hilary Duff used to date in Edmonton Oiler. <laughs> so that, that's probably why I like her. Because she knows good sports teams. Same age as me. Definitely fapped. <laughs> nice. Emily Kinney. Never heard of her. Why does she seem so... <laughs> I was going to say... <laughs> I was going to say why she seems so white in this picture, but not white, it's just like she, it's just bright. It's like it all just like almost like fuses together in brightness. Yeah, maybe. Mayonnaise, yep. Nicki Minaj. I'm pretty sure her butt and her cleavage are fake. That's the worst part. But, I mean, compared to Cardi B, I would plow down Nicki Minaj. I mean, yeah, like it's fake. Most likely it's fake and all that, but, dude, I, I just, <laughs> whenever I see Nicki Minaj, I just feel primal. I don't give a fuck, man. You feel me? Yeah, it's, it's just all about it. I just... I don't know. Halle... DeBerry. Like Halle Berry, but... I feel like I've seen her before. Just not know where. What's imitation crab? Is that another avant-garde reference you're making? Mm. Okay. Britt Morgan. She she looks like um. That one lady, something Griffith. Is she on that? Is she on the list? 
something something Griffith that that, that one lady. Nah. Cobby Smulders. Oh, she, she's in the. Uh, she's in that Marvel, Marvel series. She plays, like the right hand woman. Yeah, Kathy Griffith. She she looks like Kathy Griffith. Yeah, she plays that one lady who's like next to um, Nick Fury. And actually, you know what? Yeah, I think. Maybe not Smash, but yeah, she's kind of hot. Marilyn Monroe. Her eyebrows look so weird in that picture. Marilyn Monroe. Why do her eyebrows look so strange? Most fapped two woman ever. So honestly, maybe. See, yeah, I mean, probably. Her eyebrows in that one picture just look strange. Maybe it's just how her eyebrows look. I mean, yeah, she's of the time of the olden days. But given, yeah, given how she looks right now. Comparatively speaking to modern day women. At least. At least okay. Didn't the CIA murder her? I thought the CIA murdered. Um, Kennedy. Or JFK, yeah, yeah, that's the same. Now, so maybe, maybe they did. I mean, I'm muted. No, I'm back. I just hit the mic again. Licia Rutaru. <laughs> She has a butt chin. I always find those funny. People with butt chins. And she has a... Is that a freckle on her face? Oh yeah, she has a... She has a butt chin and a dimple. That's kind of cute. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the CIA did because she rejected, you know, their invitation. Emma Roberts? I've heard that name before. Mm. Emma, is mine back off? I didn't even say anything yet. I was still deciding. I mean, she, she looks nice. But apparently Emma Roberts is CD Rams woman, so I just put an okay. Allison Brie. The only Brie I know is the cheese. I've not heard of her before, but she seems. Yeah, the. Dude, I had a burp and yawn back to back. Yes, the bro code. She seems both cute and slightly crazy. So she's on the low end of the okay spectrum. Oh, dude, Sigourney Reaver. My God. Dude, in her prime during the Alien movies. Respect and salute. Sure thing, man. In her prime, the Alien movies, Sigourney Weaver. God damn, man. The biggest crush I think I ever had on a on an actress. Maybe, maybe my first one ever. J Dude, just this picture itself. My God. The alien definitely tapped that. If the alien had any sense of, like, brain power, 
my god dude Sigourney Weaver in her prime what a lady ah uh, dude Madonna also back dude this is actually great back to back champions Madonna in the 80s man fuck when she was on she was on cloud nine with back to back bangers okay Papa don't preach get into the groove uh what was it Vogue? I think that was a little bit later on. Dude, in the 80s, she was the queen of the music industry. I'll, and I'll always stand by that. The, she's the only female artist I've ever like listened to that much. Madonna can get it raw and dirty. I would impregnate that impregnate that bitch so hard every single time we fucked. I gave her like five children. The minimum. Madonna. Into the gro into the groove is is my go to work song. If I just like go to work, I, it's either into the groove or Papa Don't Preach. Because I I can just I can feel her when she's singing that song. Just feel her emotion. Yeah, do Madonna. I would dick her down as much as I could. Oop. Papa Don't Preach. I'm in trouble deep. Papa, don't preach. I've been losing sleep. But I made up my mind. I'm keeping my baby. Oh, I'm gonna keep my baby. Like, how do you not feel that when you listen to that song? Olivia Munn. I think I've heard that name before. Maybe. Maybe. Shakira. Damn, she looks... The crazy thing about a Shakira is that she looks amazing for her age. She's like 50-something years old right now. Still looks very beautiful. That's an amazing quality. Naman Rastaman. Yeah, her hips don't lie, and I don't either. Joey King. Isn't Joe? Oh, isn't Joey a f dude name? Who's who the fuck is Joey King? Because that's a dude name. The bullet train, the act, the kissing booth. <laughs> Joey Badass, yeah. She's 24 years old, but she looks like she's not. Uh, I don't think so, no. Karen Gillen, never heard of her. I'm pretty sure. The, uh, I'm pretty sure she's in. This is the still of the that that one movie that has like um, the Rock and. Jack Black in it, whatever the hell that movie was. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Jessica Nig <laughs> Nigri? That is a. That name is so close to being something else. Okay, I've not heard of you, but. Nah, she seems nice. Mm. Okay, at least. Michelle Pfeiffer. Of course her name has a P in the beginning. Their, their last names couldn't be, like, strange by themselves. They have to have silent, silent uh, letters in them. I fucking hate silent letters. Can you say Jessica Nigri one more time? <laughs> there you go. I said it. Yeah, I, I hate silent letters in, in names. Michelle Pfeiffer. Funny sounding name.
maybe, but not above Milana Vingtrub. Oh, this is a woman, Natalie Portman. I thought Natalie Portman was the woman in the Caribbean movies. And I was looking at that other woman who I thought was, who looked like her. Natalie Portman. Hot. Let me. Okay, there we go. Elizabeth Olsen. She's in the... She plays the witch in the Marvels. Hmm, actually. Okay. Oh, Ju Julia Lewis Dreyfus from uh, Friends or the uh, Seinfeld. How the fuck did I say friends? Her hair always weirded me out, the style of her hair in that show. I never understood how she got that like bump or the thing on her, like her hair like that. But yeah, but a legendary woman in the field. So hot, you might think so. I'll give her at least better than Kaylee in terms of like performances and legacy in the industry. Definitely better than Kaylee. Liana Walsman. I don't have time to dissect you, lady. Just fucking hell no. Scarlett Johansson. Nah, no, she's already at least like, at least right there. I wouldn't say smash dirty and oh, I fuck, I misspelled filthy. I come now. You pointed that out to me. I misspelled filthy. I wouldn't smash. Scott Johansson, Dirty and Filthy, because I actually like want to respect her. She seems like the one you want to like show off to your parents and like respect. So I'll give her that respect and not do that much. Lana Wood. Isn't this isn't this the second person with the last name Wood? There was another woman on here with the last name Wood. Where is she? Yeah, right here, Natalie Wood. I don't know, something about her face. Okay. Jennifer Aniston from Friends. She may be a bit older, but I'll give her at least a maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to be nice here. It's just, eh. Jenna Coleman. Who are you, Jenna Coleman? Oh, she, oh, she's British. She plays a lot of British shows. That's why I never heard of her. Okay, well, being British knocks you down like five points. Yeah, I'm just not interested. Fucking British people. Oh, Vanessa Hudgens. Also a Disney. She's in that high school musical thing. Dude, I remember seeing this one video during, um, <laughs> during the first outbreak of COVID, like when a bunch of celebrities started making videos to the people 
like to seem relatable. Vanessa Hudgens made a video, <laughs> and she was like, you know, people normally were like, you know, supportive and empathetic, trying to like, you know, sound positive. Vanessa, she she went the complete opposite. She said something like, yeah, like a virus is you know taking over the world, and you know some people are just gonna die. <laughs> And she was like, yeah, it's just, it's just how it goes. Some of you are just going to die and just want to live with that. <laughs> ah, that was great. Yeah, it's just, uh, but she seems, looks pretty, I guess. I'll just say, okay. But that video was just, at, at, at some, at a certain point, personality does come into effect. And that was just amazing. Haley Steinfeld. Seinfeld? She looks also she'd be like a mass manipulator. Like she would mentally screw with you. So I'm gonna put you in the crazy ladies. Penelope Cruz. I almost said Gemma. Jesus Christ. Gemma Art Archerton. Gemma Archerton. Uh, I've never heard of this woman. I'll at least give you something above Vanessa because okay, I just can't get over that video. Jessica Alba. I know her from the Fantastic Four, the first live action. Or at least like the like twenty twelve live action movie. Lisa Oh, an ad's about to play. Christ I like these ads. Oh, Debbie Ryan. She was in that um that one Disney show where she played like a, a nanny or something or a babysitter. After that, I have no idea what she did. When she was when she was in that babysitter show. Yeah, definitely, Smash. Anna de Armas. I think she was in that one. She was in that one assassination movie with um, with Ryan Gosling. Mm. She's kind of hot, I guess. She's a side call. Yeah, probably. She's your side call after you deal with your main wife of Amanda Seafried. Seafried steak. Seafried, seafried shrimp. I guess, yeah, at least hot. She's kind of pretty. Ah, oh, dude, Kate Dennings. Dude, another... Another woman who caught my eyes. Not as much as, um... Uh, fucking... Sigourney Weaver, but dude, Kat Dennings in that one show. Where, where she played like a waitress. Two Broke Girls. Like, of course, the name was so unoriginal. My God. I, I think I fell in love with her at this point. Kat Dennings. She was, al she was also in this, like, one weird um, movie with, like, about a guy who can, like, see ghosts or whatever. But my god, yeah. I wanted to breed the fuck out of her. Like uh, I mean, I, just, I just I just didn't care. Again, I didn't I didn't like her as much as Sigourney Weaver. In fact. Oh 
Also, she had huge... Well, she has huge boobs. My God. She was perfect. Erin Moriarty. That's a nice... That's a pretty cool last name. Given the... Um, Sherlock's... Sh Sherlock? Sherlock Holmes villain. I just had to reorganize them. There's a there's a priority here. There's a list, all right? Yeah, she seems really pretty. Charlize Theron. I've heard this. I've heard this name before. She looks spoiled. Like she would expect the world from you. Yeah, I like them humble. C. Huntington White. Man, those cheekbones or and or plastic surgery. I feel like I've seen her before. Where? I can't tell where, but it looks like she looks like she has plastic surgery. I just can't do that. Sienna Miller. I've definitely s was it Transformers? Oh yeah, she yeah she played the second girlfriend to uh, Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, I remember because in in that one scene with um, John Malkovich. Yeah, she like came over to his office. Yeah, and I remember. Sienna Miller. Kind of plain looking, but I like her. You were okay. I'd pass on who Sienna or the Transformers lady. Sarah Michelle something Samantha Fox oh the Transformers lady I mean I did too it's it's probably plastic surgery and she just looks strange oh from Buffy I've never watched Buffy my parents loved Buffy though they loved that show Samantha Fox. She kind of reminds me of, of the lady who played um, the the main female uh, lead in um, Saved by the Bell. The girl who's trying to, the girl who's always getting a uh, attention from both uh, AC Slater and the main dude. She kind of reminds me of that woman. Yeah, dude, I saw, I, I peeked over at Lindsay Lohan's picture already, and Jesus Christ. Crack is one hell of a drug. Eh, maybe on Samantha Fox and Lindsay Lohan. Jesus Christ. Macy Williams. It's a, it's a fuck no, yeah. Marissa Tomi. Oh, she plays the mom in um in the Spider Man movies. And she seems to be the one woman who rocks the older the older gal look pretty well. Amy Adams. Amy Adams. Oh, it's, dude, you're, you're going ahead of the list. Calm the fuck down, wounded. Anne Hathaway also, I loved her. I don't need to explain myself. Yeah, almost milfy. She, she carries herself well as an older lady. I don't know how, but she does. And that's, that's a great trait 
deep dish the works. Kate Upton. Oh yeah, I've heard of her. She's like a, a famed supermodel. Now she's kind of pretty. Um, I'll put it up there. Mega boner. <laughs> Is that the sound it makes when it like activates? Mega boner. Amy Adams. I've heard of her before. I constantly confuse her with Anna Kendrick, I think her name is. She's pretty or her knockers are pretty. I'm, I mean, I mostly put her up there because she had nice knockers, I'll be honest. Amy Adams. Mm, maybe. Something Dallas Howard. She almost reminds me of the of Blondie, the uh, the musical artist who made um, Heart of Glass. She almost reminds me of that woman. But Blondie had better cheekbones. Still kind of pissed at Mila Kunis for the court letter flip-flop controversy either support your friend or don't I don't know well, I don't know anything about that isn't Mila in the slammer is she all he knows is that she was in friends <laughs> not friends she was in that 70s show and family guy the guy who played Hyde went to jail he did really Wait, I think I may have heard of that. I, I remember seeing him in the news at one point. Wait, what? That 70s show, Danny Masterson just got 30 years for raping two women? Three victims came forward in 2017. What? If you have a knack for nostalgic TV sitcoms, you probably have that 70s show, that 90s show on your watch list. All your favorite characters like Fez, Kelso, Jackie, Donna, and Eric appear throughout the series. But one specific character from the main cast of that 70s show doesn't make an appearance. That's when you saw the reboot series of the classic. This is a show, a new band of kids, and pointless consequences Donna, and Eric's daughter. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that 90s show. I know I know it's a, it's a, it's a continuation of that 70s show. I haven't seen it yet. Most of the OG cast members visit during the first season and make their rounds in Katie's former house. However, one member is convicted of two counts of rape back in May 2023 and received 30 years to life behind bars. What the fuck? Milo Kunis wrote a letter saying he was a nice guy to the court. Then when he got convicted, she retracted it. What the fuck, man? Didn't he play as a rooster in the ranch? I've never seen the ranch. If you look at the court records, it's kind of whack based on witness testimonies. God damn it, man. Oh, yeah, there it is. Following the allegations, Masterson was fired from the ranch. God damn it, man. I, li I liked him in the show. He's a great character. The rape cases were from 20 years ago. I don't know how the fuck you wait 20 years to report a rape. God damn it. Actually, I liked him as a, in, in the show. It was great. But yeah, this woman kind of reminds me of Blondie. But not as attractive, so I'll put it not interested. Mila Kunis. Yeah, maybe.
So it probably was a little rapey, but then were women who went on dates with him. Oh yeah, at that point it just gets kind of muddled. <laughs> I prefer Thousand Island. I've never had Thousand Island dressing. Is it actually good? Down fifty for the last three. Florence Pug? Pugga? I'm just I don't I just don't like short hair. I want to admit that's maybe just a me thing. Or like two shh. Where is it? Okay, short hair like this that touches the elbows, that's a good link for me. But short hair like this on Kate and short hair like this on Chris Christina, I just don't like that type of hair. Thousand Come Island is what Dalda likes. No, I don't like that. It's a typo. Her last name is PUBG. <laughs> okay, of course, PUBG. I love that game. Oh yeah, okay, that, that, that's all the women. That's all the women in the world ranked right there. Of course, the creme... Of course, the creme of the crop, the best women, the sexiest and most beautiful of them all, is of course Morena, Sigourney, Gal, Madonna, Kate, and Halle Berry. That is non-arguable. You cannot argue with me on that one. If you do, it's because you're stupid and wrong. And of course, you have you know Eva Mendes, Rachel McAdams, all these gals. Actually, wait. Dave Ryan is both Filthy Smash and Let Me Smash. Okay, I'll change this to... If you piled all these women into a 20 by 20 room, what do you think it would smell like? Yeah, those are lips. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but goddamn. If you piled all these women into a 20 by 20 room, what do you think it would smell like? I'm assuming it smell very nice. I mean, women make themselves smell nice, and they tend to smell nice as well. How many dads are watching this right now? I mean, Face Dover is a dad. Pattern is a dad. So at least two dads. Probably only two dads. Yeah, to answer your question, two dads. Nicki Minaj is let me smash your fucked in the head. Dude, have you seen her ass? I don't care if it's fake. Three? There's only two dads here. Face Duffer and Pattern. It would smell like yeast? I'm not sure how yeast actually manifests inside the crotch. I'm assuming these women take care of themselves. You know, they have to be on camera, they have to be in, like, in public. I thought I thought you weren't a dad yet, wounded. You said you wanted to be a dad, but you're not one yet. The yeast is thick. Thanks for the one bit pattern, the face stuffer. The yeast is thick. Oh, if you're soon to be one, like if she's pregnant, then yeah, I guess I does count you as three. Yeah, so there are currently three dads watching this sh stream. Delta has a couple of mini me's running around in the wild. That I know about. She's not pregnant yet. Okay, then what the fuck? You can't call yourself a dad, dumb fuck. If you don't have a kid out in the world, and she's not pregnant, then you're not a father in any regard. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to trying to include yourself in the list. You're not in the you're not in the group. Deal with it. Neat. Wounded is just shooting loads with the safety off. Good luck, fella. Wounded is just shooting loads with the safety off. Good luck, fella. <laughs> We're planning on having kids, so it counts. No, it doesn't. A kid counts as having a kid. 
Every motherfucker plans on having a kid. Doesn't make him a father. Thanks for the one bit face stuffer. Okay, I think, yeah, this is fairly organized how I want it. I'm saving up shots in November. I haven't shot any for no, for no reason. Nice. That's smart. Save up. If Gert is a dad, you have hope, Dalda? Oh, yeah, I definitely know that. If Gert is able to convince a breathing, conscious woman to impregnate her and have the child, then I can definitely get a girlfriend in this lifetime. I, I know that for certain. Teach me or why sensei? You do, you're doing okay already, wounded, don't worry. I'm girthing up. You better if you plan on having a kid. Neat. Thoughts on the state or potential state of girth? Daddy's Thoughts on the state or potential bedroom? state of girth? Daddy's master bedroom? D Does girth already have a... Doesn't he already have a master bedroom if he's like with his wife? Doesn't he already like technically have a master bedroom? My thoughts on the state of it is that I hope it exists. <laughs> I don't know. Things with a one bit face stuffer. Yeah, this is pretty much the good list. Of course, you know many hot women around of course and then some that are okay or that s some that are either okay or like I don't know really much about them so they're they just seem kind of nice and then ones that are just like begrudgingly maybe actually you short hair no so they're here and then just not interested and then just, no, never. No. I'd break my dick off inside my, inside Nicki Minaj's ass. I, I, I don't give a fuck, man. If you don't like if you don't like Nicki Minaj's ass, you're gay as fuck, in my opinion. There, I said it. And this I, you just can't. All right, yeah, all right, that list is done now. <laughs> 